My name is uh, Sun Ru Jie. I'm the president of the Chinese Association for Science and Technology in Utah for 2015. Thank you very much for being here with us tonight. So it's my honor and my pleasure to introduce to you a few special guests. Dr. Mario Kepeki from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute of University of Utah, Nobel Prize laureate, and the keynote speaker tonight. <laughs> Utah State Senate President Wayne Niedhauser and his wife Melissa. <laughs> For the sake of time, uh, let's hold our applause for now as I recognize each individual. Utah State Senate Majority Whip, Stuart Adams and his wife Susan. <laughs> President of World Trade Center in Utah, Dark Miller and his wife Laura. <laughs> President of Davis Applied Technology College, Michael Bush and his wife Shirley. <laughs> Board member of China Overseas Exchange Association, Hao Wen Le. <laughs> Department Chair of Material Science and Engineering at the University of Utah, Liu Feng. Department Chair of Business Administration at Weber State University, Michael Stevens. Oh. Utah GOED Coordinator of International Trade and uh, Diplomacy Office, Nathan Lamson. <laughs> former President of CAS Utah and the former President of uh, CAS USA, Xiao, Xiao Mingsheng. Immediate past president of CAS Utah, Xiao Ming Dong. <laughs> former president of CAS Utah and the uh, former president of uh, sorry, former president of CAS Utah and the best president of CAS USA, Bill Jiang, Wei Peng, Le Wan. Former President of CAS Utah and the former Vice President of CAS USA, Hao Zhu. <laughs> former President of CAS Utah and the Secretary General of CAS USA, Xiao Mei Yang. <laughs> we also have with us tonight many other VIP guests and friends from government, business, education organizations as well as the Chinese community in Utah. Also, we would, would very much like to introduce them individually as well. Time do, does not allow us to do so. So let's now show our sincere appreciation to all of our guests tonight. <laughs> On behalf of CAS Utah, I would also like to express our deep gratitude to our major sponsors. Ocean Mart, Woody and the Sarasa Farm Foundation, and many others whose names appear in the program. Let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Next, let's welcome our past president, Mr. Xiao Ming Dong, who will give us the Cast Utah annual report. Oh, sorry. I make my pages a mess. <laughs> now, actually, we would like to invite uh, President Niedhauser uh, to say a few words. President Niedhauser. Thank you very much. It's a delight to be here with you this evening. Uh, what a great organization. 
Uh, on behalf of the state of Utah, I would like just to thank this association for the contributions that you make to all our communities. Uh, the encouragement that you foster by emphasizing education and research are very important to our future. I'm impressed with the scholarships that you provide and the opportunities for networking and cultural exchange and building a great relationship through, through events like this convention. Uh, the most important thing that we can do is foster good relationships. Isn't that correct? Uh, it's important to uh, for Utah and, and for China and for our cultures to, to develop those kind of relationships that are long, uh, that will last for a long time. Many years ago, the Utah Legislature and the Liaoning Provincial Congress signed an agreement of association and friendship. There is no other state or province that has such a relationship that I know of. In harmony with that agreement, the Speaker of the Utah House of Representatives, Becky Lockhart, uh, who just passed away here about a week ago, and we give her, our sympathy to her family, Stan Lockhart and their children, uh, and myself, Senate Pre uh, as the Senate President, we led a delegation to uh, visit the Liaoning province almost 18 months ago. It was my first visit to China. I must admit, I was a little anxious about uh, visiting uh, China, but that soon went away as we were warm, we had a warm welcome and we were taken care of very well in our, uh, with our stay in, in Liaoning. It became the singular most significant economic, cultural, and government exchange of my legislative career. We were in several cities, visited schools, businesses, and community centers. But most important, we developed lasting friendships and a profound appreciation for the Chinese culture. We hope to continue to develop this unique relationship. Utah has significantly invested in a long-term association with China. Our dual immersion education program, where elementary students learn Chinese, is second to none. All of the students in America that are in Chinese dual immersion programs, about one third are here in Utah. That is pretty significant, knowing that Utah is only 1% of the total population here in the United States. The Chinese Association of Science and Technology is just another example of the commitment to build lasting relationships. So again, I want to thank you for all that you do as an association. On Monday, our legislative session begins. Over a 46-day period, we will pass new laws, repeal old ones, and establish a budget for the 2016 fiscal year. There are 104 legislators from many different backgrounds and disciplines that leave their homes and families and work hard to improve public policy in our state. We are a part-time legislature. Therefore, when the gavel drops at the, ending, at the ending of our session on March 12th, we go home and we live the laws that we passed and face our neighbors who we've affected with our work. Sometimes we are well received and sometimes we are not. It takes courage and commitment to statesmanship uh, to do what we do. I invite you all to join us for a day at the Capitol. Come and experience the legislative process in action. It's open to the public uh, while we're in session, and we invite you to come down and watch the process if you haven't already. This year, the big issues are transportation funding, Medicaid expansion, education governance, um, LGBT employment and housing discrimination, and religious freedom. We would enjoy hearing from you on these issues and other issues that are important that affect your lives. Thank you again for hosting this wonderful event and for your contributions to our state. Uh, I'd like to recognize Dr. Mario Kopecki. He 
Utah's Nobel Prize laureate. It's a treat to have him here tonight, and thank you for this opportunity to address the convention. Welcome to the CAP Utah 2015 Annual Conference. And uh, on behalf of the CAP Utah team 2014, I will present you the annual report for the year 2014. So I would like to talk about, you know, first of all, who is CAP Utah? And uh, I also want to show you we have members you know, across the country and all over the world. And uh, as always, I'll share with you our mission statement. And uh, after that, we'll tell you, show you our uh, team, team 2014, and what do we be. So also some highlights for the year 2014. So finally, I'm going to get my acknowledgement. Okay. So, the CAF Utah has been around for long, so it's a well-known name in the state of Utah. So, so who we are exactly? So CAF Utah, first of all, is also called the Chinese Association of Science and Technology in Utah. It's a non-political, non-profit, and uh, it was founded in 1996, almost 20 years ago. And uh, currently, we have over 100 active members. All, all, all of them are non-paid volunteers. So, Catunta has been around uh, almost 20 years. So Catunta is more than, is a way more than just a local chapter of Cat USA. And uh, we have, uh, you know, current members and former members everywhere. They felt important positions and play major roles everywhere. Here, I just want to give you a glance of you know, your fellow members across the country and all over the world. So for the CAF USA national team, we have two past presidents, and nine VPs, one secretary, secretary general, and three local chapter presidents in other states. Yes, they were our members, but now they serve as a president uh, in other states. And we also have a lot of engineers, managers, of course a lot of professors in the sense of engineer field. And we also have uh, the entrepreneurs here. I just give you some just give you some you no know, quick examples. I don't want to look all the names, but I can tell you one thing, no matter where they are, they share one thing with us. They always remember their times in Utah, the Utah Times. They are tied to you, to me, to Cass Utah, and they are tied to the state of Utah. So fellow members here, you got to be proud of them and also be proud of yourself too. So, so why we have Cass Utah here? So we have a mission here. So now as we, this is our mission. As for any other organizations, the mission statement is always written in perfect language. Well, it's so perfect, nobody really read it often. So I will share, you know, our understanding of the CAST mission. So what did we do here? So the CAST Utah Team 2014, we, uh, we organized science and technology, uh, exchange seminars, meetings. We uh, organize and uh, sponsor cultural events through the state of Utah. And we also raise the um, awareness of uh, Chinese and also Asian heritage in the state of Utah. Uh, of course, the community connections. We have so many, many other uh, organizations, community groups here as well. We also link serve as bridge between uh, the state of Utah and the United States and the China as well. And uh, last, but not probably also equally important, uh, member improvement. We want to make sure all members of half Utah, they live healthy, they do better in their life, in their job. Okay. That's our mission, our reading, our understanding of uh, half Utah mission. 
So all those goals, to finish any of those goals, we need a strong and volunteer team. So here is our Cap Utah team 2014. Uh, probably you guys don't know this series before. I'll give you a general description of what we did, uh, how Cap Utah operates. So all powers of Cap Utah belong to the, the convention. Convention was con consists of all Cap Utah members. The convention elects the board of directors, and the BUD elects the presidents. Presidents and uh, his uh, executive team manage and uh, execute uh, daily operations for the Cap Utah. And meet, we have uh, subcommittees. Uh, subcommittees, they focus on specific areas. This year, 2014, we have so follow subcommittees. Committee for Science and Technology, as always, yeah. And the Committee for the Business and the Trade. And the Committee, Committee for Education, Committee for Publicity, and the Committee for the Membership. So, those are our BUD members. Those are the guys who drive cash forward, going forward like in the last year. So, I would like to ask all our board members stand up, stand, stand up. So, all 2014 BUD members, please stand up. organized so many events in the valley for the last 12 months. And of course we have all the cast members and all cast advisors stand behind us, behind the, the all the BUD members, the Cast Utah Team 2014. So with this strong team, what do we do? What have we done in year 2014? Um, we organized eight BUD meetings. BUD meeting is kind of a Power engine of Cat Utah. We organize, we sponsor, we coordinate all events. We also host six cultural events. Some events are co hosted with other uh, community groups. We have, have six seminar, seminars. We also have gathering with other community groups like UOCA, UACC, and the Town, and a lot of other groups as well. We also have, uh, like this year, we have two CAC, we have the CAC Utah annual conference, like this one last year, this time. We also have a CAC USA annual conference. And we also have some to, you know, the membership in CAC enrichment program. So we go fishing, hiking, skiing, teach people how to ski, and also do BBQ. So that's, you know, what we did in 2014. I would like, really want to you know, to display, to show you guys one by one for every single event here, but just impossible. So, fortunately, we have slides ongoing throughout the evening to tell you what happens for the last 12, 12 months here. So, so, for me, I would like to give you 10 highlights for the year 2014. Okay, quickly. Right, try to get this by okay. Okay, this is uh, the, the Golden Spike, the 145th year anniversary, May 10, 2014. And we have big gathering there. This event was hosted by uh, a lot of you know, local, local community groups. Cat Utah is uh, one of the organizers. We have a big team there. So, I will see one thing, the first picture, uh, on the very top last picture, I, I follow from the MTR.org is not our picture. All the other are our pictures. The next one is always the Chinese New Year performance. This is the annual event. We have this every year. The last year was in February 1st, 2014. And uh, you now you can see the last picture and the right bottom corner is a year before. And also the, the other, the long natural day performance. September 26, 2014, and uh, a lot of people go there uh, at West High School. The one thing different from previous years, all the attendees have a, they can got a monkey this year. <coughs> and uh, okay, next highlights. So, 
can't use the annual conference. Just like this one, last year, same place here. So we have a lot of you know, uh, seminars and events that are featured for last year. So the next event. So CAT US National Annual Conference. You can see pictures here. Those are our fellow members. We send a team about 10 people here, probably the biggest team for all the call the call CAT US National Team. So next event. So this is a called a tree diversity. It's a kind of a community enrichment program. We attend, we, we participate in these events with the Multicultural Center and West Valley City. West Valley City. So this is a crystal tree we decorated this year. So you can see also three pretty women. They are our Cat Utah board members. And uh, this is probably the first time we do this kind of event. So we are invited to the uh, American Card Association Walk and Run uh, fundraising at the Sugar House. So we raised about, I think, seven hundred dollars for the Card Association and a lot of people, members of you know, the event. So we got a lot of fun here. You can see how you know big the smiles are. So the next event. I will guess. I will tell one people about Cat US, Cat US, Cat Utah. You guys guess who uh, this person is, and uh, she is a active Cat Utah member. And uh, she is a woman. She's a mother. <laughs> <laughs> she is also a descendant of a uh, continental USA US uh, railroad labor. And she was also she also the first Asian woman to run the state legislative for the last you know many many years. And you guys, oh, you guys know, tell me who she is. If you know him, Karen. Okay, apparently you guys. <laughs> okay, Karen. So this lady. You are also our Asian hero. Thank you so much. So, in addition to, well, I don't want to show all the events, but I want to try to show some, some things, some events which never showed before or we don't know a lot before. So, we, this one is uh, the events in this category. We also do the art exhibition and activities through the state of Utah. So this one we do annually, we'll do one more time next, uh, next month in downtown library. Um, so we do the that's Chinese calligraphy and the, uh, Chinese uh, traditional arts. Uh, the first picture is, well, only last week. Uh, we have a image of China exhibition in downtown library. We also have a uh, children's art exhibition in downtown library. We have an opening reception here. Uh, the bottom of the, the bottom of that picture is uh, uh, Professor Dr. Tong uh, show people and uh, how to draw the Chinese traditional art. We have Dr. Uh, Xu here as well. He goes in the he organized uh, you know, the whole event as well. Is Dr. Xu here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, the right picture is a overview uh, of what we do there. So we, we in, the, in the event on the side. So we have people set up, we show people, we write Chinese characters, we tell people how to, what those you know, Chinese art means. If you want to learn it, we can teach you. Right, that's number 10. So one mission of uh, CAT Utah is, you know, we serve as a bridge between China and the U.S. And also, they, you know, the community groups make people like in Utah enjoy all the benefits. Um, you know, I, I, I would not go there, but I would you know, read her book in those pictures. Uh, in the, the top left 
picture that's our um, so that's the cafe in June 2014 Cat Utah advisor and former Cat Utah president Dr. Le was invited to the seventh conference for the friendship of overseas Chinese association um, the, to the right of this picture are the uh, pictures it happened in June 19, uh, 2014 again. Members of CAS Utah were invited to the Utah State Senator floor in, com in, memoration, in memoration, commemoration of the 35th anniversary of the US China diplomatic relationship. The bottom left, bottom left, that happened in December 2014. Um, in December 2014. Again, Cat Utah advisor and former president Dr. Le was invited to the Beijing Symposium uh, commemorating the 35th anniversary of the establishment of the China-US diplomatic relations. The bottom right, that's the in December 2014 again, and uh, Cat Utah members assisted uh, officials from the uh, visa department of the Chinese embassy in providing on-site passport services to Utah residents, so you don't need to you know, fly to the DC to get your you know, visa or, or get your passport renewed. So, looking back, the year 2014 is not a year without a challenge, but we executed it, we do a really good job. So, I ask, always ask myself, why? So, all regions are concentrated to one that the people, the people we have here, the people, they make difference. So, I would like to thank you. Now, all the, the Cat Utah team 2014, all Cat Utah members, and all Cat Utah advisors, it's you who make a difference, who go above and beyond, and the Gravis organization going forward, make a huge, huge difference in this valley. I'm truly honored on this journal, journal with you guys. Thank you so much. And also, my thanks also go to all community groups. Just Cat Utah, we cannot do anything. We need your help, and you help us. We all together make a big difference. And also, thanks to all VIPs, guests who take your time to help us, help Cat Utah, and all local groups. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, thank you, Xiaoming. Wow, I can't believe that we, Cass Utah, have done so many things in 2014. I'm so proud of us. Thank you very much for the presentation. And also, the circumstance has presented has uh, prevented the Chinese Embassy from attending our conference in person. However, the Minister Councilor of Science and Technology in the Chinese Embassy has sent us a letter of congratulations. I now would like to invite Dr. Hao Wen Le to read this letter to us. Hao Wen, please.
and exchange views with them on topics of common interest. From our discussions, it was not difficult to feel your members' broad views, epic thoughts, and unique insights about friendly exchange and cooperation between China and the United States. I hope that you will continue your good work and continue your contributions to the friendly cooperation between the two countries in the areas of science and technology, culture, education, and economic trade. We you great success in your 2015 annual conference, the Chinese Embassy in the United States, Minister Council of Science and Technology, Li Chaochen, dated January 16, 2015. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Lu. Well, next, let's welcome Dr. Xiao Mei Yang to read to us the letter of congratulations from CAST USA. Thank you, Xiao Mei. Uh, I know some of you, maybe all of you, have been very hungry now. So, sorry, it's a long, it's, it's kind of a long for a haphazard time. But now let's take a break for the dinner. And also for the members of CAS Utah, including the new member, uh, the new members for tonight. And I would like to invite you to a few in the election form for the board members. Thank you very much. <coughs> 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 